Glacier National Park in Montana is such an incredible place, so here's my itinerary of what you cannot miss when you go and visit. First of all, you definitely gotta hike the Avalanche Lake Trail. It's a relatively flat trail and it's definitely so gorgeous. You get to pass by and see deer crossings, as well as cross by the river, and the gorge is just absolutely incredible. The views on this trail just get better and better, and so definitely recommend this hike for sure. Avalanche Lake can definitely not be missed. It's so incredibly beautiful, so peaceful, and you can also hike around the lake as well and just see it from all the incredible different angles. that hike definitely drive on the going in the sun road it's a loop that takes you around the whole glacial valley of glacier national park you can see how these glaciers have shaped the land Yay! such incredible views we kept stopping at every outlook we saw because it was so cool <laughs> honestly it's such a pretty drive and just really really take it in this is a bird view falls that you can see on um, that area and there's a lot of waterfalls off the side of the highway as well. And then we also got to see some mountain goats. Next, we hiked St. Mary Falls, and it was also a relatively chill hike as well. You can also cliff jump into the water, which I definitely recommend. It's a really fun cliff jumping spot, and it, it was really, really refreshing. You should also definitely stop by Logan Pass. Here you can see a bunch of bighorn sheep that kind of roam that area. From here, you can also hike to Hidden Lake Overlook and the Highline Trail as well. It's just both incredible hikes, such beautiful views. It's just really incredible. Specs. We also went to the Many Glaciers part of the Glacier National Park. A lot of people actually go horseback riding on this side of the park. We didn't get to this time, but it's definitely on my bucket list as well. Instead, we went down to the lodge, which you should definitely check out. It's so beautiful. And then just walked around the lake. This side of the park was definitely much less crowded and very peaceful. You can take a fair across the lake if you like, but you can also hike it too. I do have to warn you, it does get very windy at this side of the park. <laughs> I definitely recommend camping at Apgar Campground near Lake McDonald on the west side of the park. It's a great campground because it's very close to the entrance and you get this incredible view of the lake. It is kind. Look at that. We got to watch sunset on Lake McDonald, and that was just so incredible. This is was actually at like maybe ten thirty at night, and there was still light out. The next few days, we decided to paddleboard around the many beautiful lakes of Montana. This is at Lake McDonald, and it was actually the first time I brought this paddleboard out with me and this is actually my number one recommendation is bring a paddleboard or a canoe with you Fine, to the to montana because there's so many lakes you can paddleboard in yeah i love paddleboarding lake mcdonald's just because you can see the inc this incredible lake and it's a lot less crowded than much of the more busier parts of the park Here's that really famous spot that everyone takes photos of, of Lake McDonald, where you can see the beautiful painted rocks that's also framed by the mountains in the background.
also visited the small town of Whitefish, Montana and got to paddleboard around the lake over there as well. There was quite a few more people paddleboarding out here and it seemed like everyone was just very much celebrating having a good lake day. The third lake that we paddleboard in was actually Flathead Lake. Also an incredible lake to paddleboard in because yeah. there's so many different islands on the lake that you can paddleboard to. So I had a lot of fun, brought my dad along with me as I paddleboarded into these islands and you know, had a blast. If you're staying in Kalispell, I would also de definitely recommend hiking the Notch Trail in Heron Park that's right next door. Well, it's a trail. beautiful trail and you get to see this beautiful this lake. Um, this is Foy Lake and look, look at, at that. that. Look at this view. This is just super close to Kalispell. Mm -hmm. So had an incredible Two time watching the, the sunset water. from here. Um, definitely recommend just hiking around. <laughs> There's so many great places to go around Montana. And we got to see a rainbow, so we definitely won in that category. Glacier National Park in Montana was such a beautiful trip. Had a blast and definitely want to go back to see it all over again. Oh, and one final piece of advice. Definitely at the dessert at Mackenzie River. Um, it was so great. We went back a couple of times just for the desserts here. And that's it.